In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix upper trapezius pain for good. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to focus on getting quick and long-lasting pain relief for the upper trapezius muscle. If you're unfamiliar with it, when this becomes weak or tight, you can get a lot of pain at the base of the skull, going towards the side of the neck into the top of the shoulder. To make this easy, I'm going to break this video up into three separate parts. Each part will focus on a different way to get pain relief, so to get the best results, Go through all three parts and all of the exercises. As a bonus, all of these exercises can be done at home. They require no special equipment and you may find give quick pain relief even within 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix that upper trapezius muscle pain right now. In this part, we're going to get quick pain relief by targeting muscle knots, muscle spasms, and trigger points. This is something that you can do throughout the day and you can do it standing or seated. Whatever side that you're having pain, let's say it's my right trapezius, you're going to take the hand on the other side, make a hook with your fingers. From there, I'm going to press into my trapezius muscle right where the base of the neck meets the top of the shoulder. You want to apply enough pressure in there where it's going to cause a good self-massage but not causing any discomfort. What we're going to do next is then lower our shoulder downward towards the floor, almost like trying to pick something up off the floor with our hand. This will intensify the pressure over the trapezius muscle. We're going to take this one to the next level by then slowly bending our head in the opposite direction, kind of like taking our ear towards the other side shoulder. This will really activate that upper trapezius muscle and this can become very sensitive. So again, only to your comfort level. You want to hold this one for about five to 10 seconds. From there, you can relax. I like to do this one for about three times over one spot. And with each repetition, I try to build into it just a little bit more. You can also experiment with doing circular motions in there while doing this stretch. It will just activate and hit those muscle fibers just a little bit differently. So go up and down with it, side to side, diagonally, circular motions, anything that feels good, definitely go with it. But afterwards, what I'm going to do is then move down my shoulder very slightly and then repeat this process. I'm going to do this pretty much from the base of the neck all the way down towards the top of the shoulder. You're going to notice that one certain spot, like let's say right here in the middle for me, is just the most tight, painful, and achy. Maybe you have a large muscle knot over that spot. You want to throw more repetitions in at that point and focus on the spots that need it the most. But explore the whole area and if you need to, you can always switch to the other side and repeat. So a common spot to get trapezius muscle pain is in the upper back, top of the shoulder, into the side of the neck. The problem is it's a really hard spot to reach, so let's make it easy. I'm going to take a tennis ball and place it in a large sock. You can pretty much use anything that is soft and round. You could use a dog toy if you wanted to. That way you can throw the ball over your shoulder and hit those hard to reach spots. So let's center the ball right over the spot of pain. From there, you're going to go next to a door or a wall. Angle your body out slightly, put your feet together, and then drive your body weight into the ball into that door, only to the point where it's going to cause a good self-massage, not causing discomfort. As a note too, don't go over the spine or over any bony spot because that can cause irritation, only over muscle. So once we're in that spot, we're applying pressure, what I'm going to do is then slowly use my legs to lower and raise my body up and down very slowly. When you do this, it's going to cause that ball to glide over the muscle and it usually feels really, really good. I try to do this one for about 10 to 15 seconds and over that time, I slowly build pressure into it with my body weight. From there, you can relax, take a breather, and you can repeat this one three times. From there, just switch over different spots as needed. If you want to take this one to the next level also, instead of going straight up and down with it, go side to side like this. Do circular motions. Attack the muscle fibers at different angles. If you feel like you're getting more relief with a certain motion at that point, use it and throw more repetitions in. In this part, we're going to focus on lengthening the upper trapezius muscle to not only get quick pain relief, but hopefully more pain-free range of motion in the neck and the shoulder. I'm going to go over two different variations. The first variation is a personal favorite for many because it can end in a satisfying self-pop, crack, or release in the neck. This one can be done throughout the day, and it can also be done standing or seated. Just have very good upright posture. What I'm going to do, whatever side that I'm having pain, let's say it's my right side, I'm going to take that side's arm, bend my elbow at 90 degrees, and then slide my arm all the way across 
my lower back as much as I can until I feel that upper trapezius muscle start to activate at the top of the shoulder. Once we feel that, what we're going to do is take the hand on the other side, grab onto the side of the head, and then pull our ear towards the other side's shoulder. This will cause a deep stretch into the side of the neck going into the top of the shoulder. It usually feels really good. And again, sometimes you might get a pop or release with this one, but do not force it. This is only meant to be a comfortable stretch. Once we feel that, we're going to hold this one for 15 to 20 seconds. From there, just relax. On the next repetition, try to build into it even more. You want to do this for three to five times. And when you're done on one side, I do recommend switching to the other to keep them both in balance. The next variation is going to hit the muscle just a little bit differently. So again, let's say I have a lot going on on my right side. I'm going to shrug that shoulder upward towards the ceiling as much as I can. From there, I'm going to take my hand, grip to the side of my head, and then the movement is very similar. I'm going to take my ear all the way down towards the other side shoulder as far as I can. When I can't go any further, I'm going to take this one to the next level by then lowering my shoulder downwards, kind of like taking my hand to pick something up off the floor. This again causes a deep activation into that upper trapezius muscle, but it hits it just a little bit differently than that first variation. I try to hold this one 15 to 20 seconds. I'm just going to relax, and then I'm going to repeat this one three to five times. And with each repetition, again, try to build into it just a little bit more, and then switch to the other side and repeat. The last one is actually a levator scap stretch. It's another muscle that works with the trapezius. So by taking a lot of tension off that muscle, it will likewise help take tension and stress off the trapezius. So this one can be done standing or seated. It's known as the armpit sniffer and you're going to see here why in just a second. So whatever side that you're having issues, again let's say it's my right side, what I'm going to do is turn my head in the opposite direction to look over that shoulder as much as I can. So I'm really turning to look over my left shoulder until I feel a very deep stretch into the side of my neck and upper back. Once we feel that, we're going to take our hand, grab the back of our head, and then pull our chin down towards our armpit as much as we can. You'll feel a deep stretch, this time around more towards the back side of the neck. It usually feels really, really good. Again, 15 to 20 second hold, you're just going to relax. On the next repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. But you want to do that one for three to five times, and I do recommend doing it on both sides. So if your goal is to get rid of trapezius pain for good, your main focus needs to be on strengthening the muscle. I'm going to go over a couple easy strengthening exercises. The first one is one of my personal favorites. I call it the stick method because we just need something like a broomstick, but you can also use a PVC pipe. If you don't have any of those, go out in the yard, grab a big stick. So with the stick method, what I'd like to do first is actually target a little bit lower into the lower trapezius muscle. So I'm going to take my stick, make sure that my hands right here are going to be wider than my shoulders and then go upwards with it just like this. The movement is pretty easy. Let's take this back as much as we can until we feel those muscles activate into the upper back, into the shoulders, and then we're just going to turn through our upper back in one direction. So we're not trying to go through the lower back or through the hips, but we're going to turn with our shoulder. When you do this, try to reach up as much as you can and then turn and you'll feel a deep activation of that trapezius muscle. You want to hold this for about a second or two, you're just going to relax and then what you're going to do is the same thing on the other side. I like to do that one slowly for about 10 repetitions on both sides and with each repetition, Try to build into it just a little bit more. From there, we're really going to hit the upper trapezius muscle with this next variation. So I'm going to take my stick. I'm going to have my arms, I should say my fists right here, a little bit more than shoulder width. We're going to take it overhead. And then what I'm going to do is pull back with the stick as much as I can and then slowly lower that stick down towards my neck. When we can't go any further, hold this for a second or two and then slowly come back up. The goal with this, with each repetition, is to drive this stick up and back and then do this. It will really, really hit those trapezius muscles. But I try to do this one nice and slowly for about 10 to 15 repetitions. And if you feel like you have a little bit more energy, you can throw in another set or two.
This next strengthening exercise is called the shrugging liftoff and it's great because the only thing that we need is a wall. So I'm going to start with very good upright posture and put my chest against that wall. Take your arms, straighten them at the elbow like this, put your palms flush against the wall. The movement from here is very easy. We're going to shrug upwards, lifting our hands towards the ceiling as much as we can. You should feel a good activation in the upper back, around the top of the shoulder, into the neck. Hold this one comfortably for about five seconds. From there, you can just relax. But you want to repeat this one 10 to 15 times, and with each repetition, build into it just a little bit more. Really try to challenge that muscle. But afterwards, if you feel like you have a little bit more energy, you can throw in another set or two. To make this more challenging, you can do the same movement with dumbbells or weights. It'll help build more muscle because you're using more resistance. But from there, what we can do is take this one to the next level also by targeting the muscle through different positions. So instead of going straight up with it, angle your arms off to the side just like this so they are in a Y position. So what I'm going to do is take the side of my hands, put them against the wall, my thumbs are going to be pointing away from it. We're going to reach up as much as we can until we feel that muscle start to activate. It's kind of like a similar shrugging motion. It just hits the muscles a little bit differently. But give that one a try for 10 to 15 repetitions. If you feel like you need a little bit more of a challenge what you can do instead is walk back from the wall, do that shrugging motion like this, but this time around, drive your arms away from the wall. It will hit the muscles in the upper back into the upper trapezius just a little bit more. So give that one a try. And you can also do that Y position like this, shrugging up and then bringing it away from the wall. Go through all of those. If you feel like one is targeting more tightness and weakness, at that point, throw more repetitions in. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.